truck's a 1996 Peterbilt 379. It's a 265 inch wheelbase. It's got a 550 cat, 18 speed, 355 rears. It's owned by Satha Kilgore out of McComb, Missouri. Uh, the trailer is a uh, 2019 Wilson 53 foot cattle pod spread axle. Yeah, the truck, from what I can remember, was based out of North Carolina. A uh, guy built it. Uh, Satha bought it. Um, had a 36 inch bunk on it. He put the hideout on it, which is a 63 inch now. And he pulls cattle pot and he does refrigerated freight also. It, Nebraska, Iowa, you know, Missouri, Minnesota, areas like that. Texas. I've seen pictures of it in the past before he bought it and it, the color of the truck was still the blue with the stripes, red frame on it. The interior, they done a drastic change on the interior as far as the door panels and the sleeper and seats by Moffitt Customs out of Missouri. Some of the customization he's done to it was the Vendetta stacks. They're done by four states, their own line of stacks. Valley Chrome bumper that he's put on there with a four states flip kit. The air ride suspension under the front the horse. And then the uh, visor's a four state visor. This uh, sleeper on the truck is a uh, hideout by the four states, the boys of Chrome Shop Mafia. This truck has got the first one. It's, it's number two in the series of the sleepers, but it's the first truck to have it on. The stainless cow and sleeper panels also are done by four states. On the Wilson trailer, he also had 127 lights on the trailer. He's done some custom work that he's ordered from, from Wilson for safety as far as being able to hide out in the trailer if a cow wants to turn on them also, um, traps to get out, and gates that he can get behind that they can't get to them. That was a plus that he wanted for his safety on the truck. I was asked to bring the truck by Satha. I've known him about six years or longer. I've done some runs with him. I was off this week. He asked me if I'd bring it and help him get it cleaned up and get it ready for the show. So I, I weren't going to turn that down. I mean, that was something awesome to be able to come to Matt's. It took us nine hours to get here to Matt's, um, dodging the rain, hope, hoping it wouldn't rain because we had it washed off. When we got here, you know, we washed it again and it took about four days to polish the truck up, get it ready for the show to compete with the rest of the trucks that were here. It was about 100 trucks. I showed the truck in the uh, first show combo and we took first place with it. It was exciting. It was different. Normally I drive a truck, I pull a step deck, usually run coast to coast. Been out on the road. I started with a chauffeur's license on about 19 and then I went to the CDL. Um, just something I love. I mean when I'm not driving a truck, I build model trucks. So it was trucks. So there's always been trucks in my life and that's ate up with them. So. <laughs>